कंप्यूट प्रोफेशनल इनकम ऑफ लॉयर आर एडवोकेट पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट थ्री थाउजेंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इज योर डिप्रिसिएशन ऑन कार नाउ डिप्रिसिएट ऑन प्लान ट्वेंटी परसेंट बुक्स परचेज फॉर टीचिंग पर्पज टू हंड्रेड वी डोंट वॉन्ट टीचिंग वी वॉन्ट ओनली प्रोफेशन नाउ इन दिस सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस फोर हंड्रेड वन थाउजेंड प्लस वन थाउजेंड इट इज टू थाउजेंड नाउ these are the informations we have as you know that we have to find out which are your professional income and hello everyone this is your other sir here lecturing with yashram facilitate college the temple of excellence and now we are in the session 5 of your topic called business or profession under business or profession we are discussing about your topic called income tax subject and your session 5 in this session 5 we are talking about your professional income what is a professional income we have three types of professional incomes like advocate like lawyer medical practitioner doctor ca chartered accountant now in today's session just assume that you are a advocate and what will be your professional income the agenda is your concept along with that we'll understand the format also along with that we'll work out the problem compute professional income of lawyer or advocate particular amount particular amount now these are the informations we have as you know that we have to find out which are your professional income and we have to find out which are your professional expenditure we will concentrate only on professional income and professional expenditure now as per this we'll go with fees from client salary as part time lecturer remuneration exam remuneration and interest on bank deposit sale of car sale of share dividend received these are the information we have now opening balance and closing balance you know that always we don't consider then go to fees from client yes salary as part time lecturer no exam remuneration yes interest on bank deposit no sale of car no sale of shares no dividend received also no only we have two things which are professional income which are your professional expenditure now your professional expenditures are like we have books for all these are professional expenditure but before that we go to your adjustments now as per this one third portion of building is used for profession only we should consider 1 by 3 next 50% of the car used for profession 50% of the car is used for profession and 50% for personal work 50% for profession and 50% for personal work depreciate 25% on car so remember all this calculation and depreciate on plan 20% books purchase for teaching purpose 200 we don't want teaching we want only profession now i'll come back to this books purchase 800 minus 200 we should consider only 600 hope you are clear yes repair of house will not come but in this repair of house what will come like One third portion of the building is used for profession, so one third we should consider now. Your thousand two hundred into one by third, how much it will be? It will be four hundred. We should consider four hundred because house one third portion used for profession. Then local tax will not take car maintenance. Yes, only how much? Two thousand into fifty percent. office expense yes household no office plan purchased we calculate what is the depreciation depreciate on plan it is 20% so it will be on 700 into 20% car purchased again 25000 we have calculate depreciation what is the depreciation we have around 25% but only 50% used for profession it will be 25% 
your answer into 50%. Then, life insurance premium, no. Donation, no. Gift, no. Income tax, no. Assessment, no. Bank deposit, no. PPF, no. These are the things we will not consider. Why? Because these are not your professional. Being an advocate, even though you are not advocate also, these expenses happen. Only your professional directly related only we have to consider. Now I'll go to the answer. So first we'll go for professional receipt. Professional receipt. First we'll go for professional receipt. Under this, we have fees from client and the second one is exam remuneration. These two are your professional receipt. Now, first one is what? Fees from client 40,000. Fees from client 40,000. What is the second one? Second one, exam remuneration, 2,500. Exam remuneration, 2,500. Is there any other income? No, only we have to, 40 plus 2,500, I got 4,500. Hope you are clear, yes. Now, after that, we'll go for professional expenditure. So it will be what? Professional expenditure. Professional expenditure. Now, as per this, what happens? We'll write all the professional expenses. What is the first one? We have books purchased. How much we should take? 600. Books, 800 minus 200, uh, as per our calculation, 600. Hope you are clear. Yes. Next. After this, we have repair only one third we should consider. A repair of house. Repair of house. So 1200 into 1 divided by 3. It will be how much? 400. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, we have local tax will not come. Car maintenance, 2000, only 50% used for professional. 2000 into 50%. Car maintenance. 2000 into 50 percent, we get around 1000. Hope you are clear. S. Yes. After this car maintenance, office expenses is rupees 4000. Office expenses 4000. After this, after office expenses, we have car 25,000 into 25% into 50%. Car, we are calculating depreciation. Depreciation on car, 25,000 into 25% into 50%. How much you will get? You will get 25% of 25% of 25,000. How much you will get? Around you will get around 12,500 as 25. 12, yeah, we'll calculate this once 25,000, 25,000 into 25 percent. I got around 6,250. After getting 6,250 into 50 percent, I got 3,125. 3,125 is your depreciation on car. Now, once if you're done with this, I'll go for next. 
after car we have life insurance will not come office plant purchased 700 into 20 percent office plant office plant 700 into 20 percent it will be 140 700 into 20 percent how much we get 140 nice after office plant we have like office plant is over car purchased over life over these things will not come why because these are not professional now anything left out with adjustment this is done car over depreciation over books also over now what is the total we got we got 600 plus 4 1000 plus 1000 2000 plus 4 6000 6 9000 9265 9265 so we'll cross check once so what are the amount you have in this 600 plus 400 1000 plus 1000 it is 2000 plus 4 6000 plus 3 9000 plus 265 now we got 9265 this has to be deducted from what from 42500 i'll check that 42500 so it will be how much 42500 minus 9625 I got 32875, 32875. So if you add, you will get as yes, 42500, 3241, 42, 42 4, yes, correct. So this is your professional income. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is all about your calculation. Hope you're done with this calculation and I'll go back to all the slides so that you can take a screenshot. So this is a question, all the calculation I have done in the question itself. So these are your adjustments. This is your solution part one. Your solution part two. So this is all about your today's session. We done with the lawyer or advocate, his professional income. Please, without seeing answer, work out at home. You will understand better. Thank you.